Hi everyone! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. For our week 5 topic, we're gonna talk about graphing linear equation in two variables. After going through this lesson, you are expected to write the linear equation ax plus by equals c in the form of y equals mx plus b and vice versa. And graph a linear equation given any two point, second the x and y intercept, and the slope and a point on the line. And for us to easily understand this topic, we must know first the properties of equalities. First, addition property of equality states that if A, B, and C are real numbers, and A equals B, then A plus C equals B plus C, or A minus C equals B minus C. In other words, we can always add or subtract the same quantity or number to both sides of an equation. Second, multiplication property of equality it states that if A, B, and C are real numbers and A equals B, then A times C equals B times C or A divided by C equals B divided by C. In other words, we can always multiply or divide the same quantity or number to both sides of an equation. And these properties of equality are used to change the standard form of linear equation into variables ax plus by equals c into slope-intercept form of the equation y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. The y-intercept is the value of y where the graph crosses y-axis. Let's take an example. Change y minus x equals 4 to slope-intercept form. Determine the slope and y-intercept. Again, from standard form, ax plus by equals c, it should change natin into y is equals to mx plus b form. So our given is y minus x equals 4, and our target is to isolate y. Meron tayong two ways in how to easily solve this. First, using addition property of equality. So we need to add x to both sides of an equation to isolate y. So we will come up to y equals to 4 plus x or y equals x plus 4. The second way or the easiest way is using transposition. So yung negative x sa left side ng equation, we will transpose it to the right side of the equation. As you notice, Using transposition or addition property of equality, we will come up to the same answer. Now, let's determine the slope and y-intercept. So, the slope is the coefficient of variable x. Therefore, m is equals to 1 and the y-intercept is the constant. Therefore, b equals 4. Example number 2. Change to x plus 3y equals 9 to slope-intercept 4. Find the slope and y-intercept. Our given is to x plus 3y equals 9. Again, we need to isolate y. So we can use addition property of equality. We need to add negative 2x to both sides of an equation. So we have 3y equals 9 minus 2x. We change natin into y is equals to mx plus b form. So we have 3y equals negative 2x plus 9. Again, the easiest way is using transposition method to isolate y. Yung 2x from the left side of the equation, we will transpose it to the right side. So we have 3y equals negative 2x plus 9. Remember, once na transpose tayo, mababago yung sign natin. So from 2x, nag-transpose tayo, it will become negative 2x. Alright? So we're not yet done here. Since ang answer natin ay 3y equals negative 2x plus 9, again, kailangan walang coefficient yung y natin. Using multiplication property of equality, let's multiply both sides by 1 third para ma-eliminate natin yung 3. So, 1 third times 3y equals negative 2x plus 9 times 1 third. So, the answer is y equals negative 2 third x plus 3. Or the other way, we can divide both sides by 3. So the answer is, y is equal to negative 2 third x plus 3. Then we need to find the slope and y-intercept. Our slope is m equals negative 2 third, 
and y-intercept is b equals 3. Example number 3. Change x plus y minus 3 equals 0 to slope-intercept form. Find the slope and y-intercept. Our given is x plus y minus 3 equals 0. We need to isolate y by subtracting x from the left side and right side. Then we need to add 3 from left side and right side. So the answer is y equals negative x plus 3. The slope is m equals negative 1 and y-intercept is 3. Let's take a look to our fourth example. Change negative 2y minus equals 5 plus 2x to standard form ax plus by equals c. So what have you noticed in the given equation? Alright, it is in the form of y equals mx plus b. So we're going to transform from y equals mx plus b into ax plus by equals c. Our given is negative 2y equals 5 plus 2x. We need to follow the standard form from ax plus by equals c. So we need to transpose 2x to the left side of the equation. Always remember that the value of a should always be positive. So we need to multiply it by negative 1. So the answer here is 2x plus 2y equals negative 5. Our fifth example. Change negative 4y minus 10 equals negative 5x to standard form ax plus by equals c. So the given is negative 4y minus 10 equals negative 5x. We need to follow the standard form from ax plus by equals c. Next, we need to transpose negative 5x to the left side of the equation and transpose negative 10 to the right side of the equation. And the answer is 5x minus 4y equals 10. For our last example, change y equals 2 third x minus 1 half to standard form ax plus by equals c. So the given is y equals 2 third x minus 1 half. We need to transpose 2 third x to the left side of the equation. Again, remember, when we are transposing a number from positive to third x, it will become negative to third x. And to simplify our answer, we need to multiply the whole equation by LCD. The LCD is 6. And take note that A or the coefficient of x should always be positive. So let's multiply both sides by negative 6. And the answer is 4x minus 6y equals 3. Now, let's discuss graphing linear equation in two variables. First, given two points. Example, use two points 5 and 0 and 0 and 1. Find the slope of the line containing the given points. For us to easily find the slope, we can use the formula m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, we need to substitute the value. y sub 2 is 0, y sub 1 is 1, x sub 2 is 5, x sub 1 is 0. So we need to simplify 0 minus 1 is negative 1 and 5 minus 0 is 5. So our slope is negative 1 over 5. Note that the line crosses the y-axis at 0 and 1, so the y-intercept is 1. We can also use the formula which is the rise over run to find the slope. Let's count. 1. Since the direction is going down, rise is negative 1. Then, count to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Run is positive 5. Second example, graph the given equation whose line passes through negative 1 and 5, and negative 4 and negative 5. Plot the points on the coordinate plane. So here is the coordinates of negative 1 and 5, and here is the coordinates of negative 4 and negative 5 and then we need to connect the points and remember that linear equations is always a straight line all right so third example graph the given equation whose line passes through 3 and 5 and 4 and negative 2 so we have 3 and 5 here 
and 4 and negative 2 here. And then we need to connect the points. Now let's grab linear equation into variables given the x-intercept and y-intercept. So I have here the definitions. X-intercept, the point x and 0, where the line crosses the x-axis. Y-intercept, the point 0 and y, where the line crosses the y-axis. To grab a line using this method, first, find the x-intercept by letting y equal 0 and solving for x. Second, find the y-intercept by letting x equal 0 and solving for y. Third, plot both intercept on the graph and connect with the straight line. For this example, find the x and y intercept of 2x plus y equals 4. If x is 0, then 2 times 0 plus y equals 4. So 0 plus y equals 4. So the value of y is 4. The y-intercept is 0 and 4. If y equals 0, then 2x plus 0 equals 4. So 2x equals 4. We need to divide both sides by 2. So x equals 2. The x-intercept is 2 and 0. Since we already have two points, we now let's uh, plot both intercept on the graph and connect with the straight line. Second example, we need to find the x and y intercept of x plus 2y equals 3. If x is 0, then 0 plus 2y equals 3. So 2y equals 3, we need to divide both sides by 2. So y equals 3 over 2. So the y-intercept is 0 and 3 over 2. Or we, we can convert this improper fraction into mixed number. So 0 and 1 and 1 half. Let's plot the point. Next, if y is 0, then x plus 2 times 0 equals 3. So x plus 0 equals 3. So the value of x is 3. So the x-intercept is 3 and 0. Now let's plot the point and connect with a straight line. Third example, find the x and y-intercept of x minus y equals 4. If x equals 0, then 0 minus y equals 4. Negative y equals 4, we need to divide both sides by negative 1 to make y positive. So y equals negative 4. So the y-intercept is 0 and negative 4. And if y equals 0, then x minus 0 equals 4. So the, var the value of x is 4. The x-intercept is 4 and 0. Now we need to plot both intercept and connect with a straight line. Okay, last one. Let's proceed to graphing linear equation given the slope and a point on the line. To graph, first, we need to plot the given point. Second, we need to generate additional points on the line by starting at the given point, x and y, and moving the rise and run of the slope. Example, we have a slope 2 and point negative 3 and negative 2. So, m is equal to 2 or 2 over 1. So, the rise is 2 and the run is 1. Now, let's plot the given point, which is the negative 3 and negative 2. So, from the given point, negative 2 and negative 2, move 2 units upward and 1 unit horizontally or to the right. So, now we have the point negative 2 and 0. Now, connect the two points. Second example, the slope is negative 3 and 2, negative 3 over 2, and the point is negative 3 and 2. M is equals to negative 3 over 2 where the rise is 3 and the run is negative 2. From the given point, negative 3 and 2, move 3 upwards and 2 units to the left for negative. Now, the other point is negative 5 and 5. Let's connect the two points with a straight line. Alright, next, our last example. 
the slope is 1 half and the point is 1 and negative 3. So the slope is 1 half, the rise is 1, and the run is 2. From the given point, 1 and negative 3, move 1 upward and 2 units to the right. Now the other point is 3 and negative 2. Connect the two points with a straight line. Alright? So thank you so much, grade 8 student, for listening. I hope you learned a lot from this topic. Have a good day, everyone.